Hey there Sagittarius, welcome to Shared Sentience. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. So this is going to be your general uh, mid-monthly reading uh, for the remainder of November. All right, so I'm going to roll the dice, see what I'm getting with the numbers, and then I will do a past, present, future spread for you guys. So let's go ahead and see what's going on here for you Sagittarius. What's going on for Sagittarius? Okay. Um, we're getting a three and a four, but I'm also hearing the 21st. Okay, so there could be something significant about the 21st. You could be seeing signs um, about a lesson from a recent cycle that closed out here. All right, it might have involved a Scorpio or a Cancer for some. Okay. Um, I also feel as if there could be a Libra or a Gemini here who's about to speak their truth about something or ask you for something. Okay. Two and a six. I do feel like there's some kind of turning point here. Something's pushing you forward or pushing you to the edge is how this feels here. I feel like this is some kind of connection with an earth sign for some of you. Yeah, I feel like this is new though. I, I would try not to be too guarded with that. I feel like there is a new connection here with an earth sign uh, coming in here. A three and a four. I think there's some kind of final realization or there's some kind of um, acceptance going on here. Yeah, I just feel a really raw energy here. I feel like you guys are just being really honest with yourselves about something, okay? Um, I think this is about a person you were really close with at one point or a group of people you were really close with, okay? Um, I think you're moving away from certain um, like packs of people is how I'm getting that. All right, I feel like you are moving out of a certain circle for some of you guys. I also feel like uh, for others of you, this is acceptance about a falling out with one particular person, for uh, with one individual, okay? Got a two and a six here. I've been getting this message a lot. Okay, well, actually, I think I got it for two other signs. Might have been more than that, but I think it was two others. I, I'm almost positive Taurus was one of them. So you guys might have Taurus in your chart. There could be some kind of job offer coming in from a distance, all right? Uh, that could be good for any of you who might want a fresh start uh, if that if there is an offer there available to you because that's not going to be for everyone. Uh, but I do feel like it's at a distance for the majority of you, okay? What's going on here for Sagittarius for the remainder of November? What is going on here? For Sagittarius for the remainder of November. What's going on with Sagittarius for the remainder of November? Okay, we're getting the Four of Swords, Libra Energy. Okay, uh, the Page of Wands, Fire, Aries, Sag, Leo. And the King of Wands, Leo. Okay, this is showing up in the past. All right. Uh, current energy here for Sagittarius. Sagittarius, current energy. Okay, Temperance. There you are. Okay. Um, the Hair Font. That's Taurus. Like I said, some of you guys might have Taurus in your chart. Okay. And uh, Queen of Cups, Cancer. In the future here there's all three of them okay five of wands two of wands seven of wands aries and leo energy showing up here leo aries leo okay uh that's the order they're going in there and then we'll take a look at the overall energy which is going to be on the bottom of this deck here and it is the ace of pentacles earth taurus virgo capricorn so like i said for some of you guys there could be a job offer um um a distant job offer goodness gracious i don't know why it took so long for me to spit that out um, we got the Four of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the King of Wands showing up in the past here. So, let's see what's going on with this. I feel like there's something that was, um, lying dormant in you here is how this feels to me with this Page of Wands. I feel like there's something that's waking up here, okay? Uh, that's what that kind of feels like to me in the past, okay? So, uh, something's kind of triggered. Something is, um... Awakened here is how this feels. Let's see what's going on with this. What's going on with this four of wands or four of uh, swords page of wands king of wands energy here I 
some of you, there, there's just some kind of change that happens within you here in the past. Uh, it could have, for some of you, it could have come from uh, the birth of a child, okay? Uh, birthing a child or um, becoming a, yeah, becoming a parent or something of that nature here. For some of you guys, I feel like it had something to do with a child. Some kind of awakening here or shift within you. Tell me about this Four of Swords, Page of Wands, King of Wands energy. It's just a random side story, okay? I feel like you want more out of life because of a child, if that's your case, though. All right, uh, you've got the uh, Knight of Cups. There's some kind of dream here in the past, okay? Um, with the Knight of Cups showing up, clarifying this Four of Swords. That's Pisces energy. Clarifying this Page of Wands is the Page of Cups. That's that's interesting to me. I'm gonna have to look at that a little bit more, but that's water, okay? And then you've got this Six of Swords, okay? Aquarian energy, so um, distance possibly, moving, okay? <laughs> uh, with the World card showing up, fixed energy. Um, I feel like there's growth and maturing here, though. I feel like there's expansion. You move from the Four of Swords to the Six of Swords. You move from the Page of Wands to the King of Wands, okay? I also feel like there's a conversation that's being had here. There's... Um, there's light being brought to something. Um, there's a softer energy being brought to a tense connection here in the past. I think that you are breaking bread with someone here. You are hashing something out, burying the hatchet with someone is how this feels to me for some of you, okay? For others of you, I feel like there's some kind of dream, some kind of passion or talent that's been lying dormant that you are um, that uh, you are bringing to the surface and embracing, okay? Um, and I feel like that's bringing you success, okay? That is showing up in the past, all right? So let's look at Temperance, the hair font, and the Queen of Cups. What's going on with Temperance, hair font, and the Queen of Cups? That was the Queen of Cups. What's going on with this, please? Tell me about Temperance for Sagittarius, please. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we got the Knight of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles, clarifying Temperance. Okay, that's showing up currently. Tell me about the hair font, please. Tell me about the hair font for Sagittarius. The Emperor, Aries. So something involving structure here, a real head over heart energy, okay? Uh, Queen of Cups, please. Queen of Cups, what's going on? Uh, the Chariot, more Cancer showing up there. I think that there's like there's something to do with balance here. You got temperance, and then you've got uh, an energy like the hair font in Aries, which is like a structure, kind of head over heart, um, stubborn kind of energy. And then you got the Queen of Cups and the Chariot, uh, which is Cancer, which is like intuitive, feminine kind of energy. Um, it's interesting. I think you're being asked to um, follow something here. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're being asked to follow something is how this feels to me. I feel like some of you guys, this Emperor energy um, is moving you past this past this Ace of Pentacles, okay? So the Ace of Pentacles is the overall energy, so there's some kind of offer here that's available to you, but you got this Knight of Swords kind of running right past it here, okay? This is someone who acts on impulse, speaks on impulse. Um, so yeah, I almost feel like there's something here that's causing you to move backwards in a way, okay? Um, but this is clarifying temperance. I feel like... I feel like some of you, there's too much logic here is how this feels. I don't even want to call it logic. I want to call it, um, I want to call it a lot of things. <laughs> um, but I will stick with, um, some, someone's being a little pessimistic here when it comes to this offer. That's how this feels to me, okay? Uh, temperance being here, I feel like you guys may be uh, ones to take. How do I put it here? I think that maybe the well-beaten path was your thing in the past here. I think that for some of you, it's almost, um, it's just very uncomfortable, this Ace of Pentacles here. That's why I feel like this Knight of Swords is moving past it because it just doesn't seem realistic. It doesn't seem, um, it doesn't, it's not you, okay? It's, but it's not the old you is what's important to recognize here. Uh, with the hair font and the Emperor, I feel like you guys have moved on from something here. There's been a leveling up, and this is the test to see if you really did level up, to see if you want what it is that you asked for here, if you want this Ace of Pentacles. But it almost seems like some of you guys are resisting this Ace of Pentacles. This could be a commitment. This could be a job. It could be anything. It seems like there's a new offer here. Um, 
that I feel like you guys are almost kind of angry with, okay? You're frustrated with it. This could be because maybe there are challenges associated with this, uh, with actually grabbing this Ace of Pentacles. Um, but some of you guys might be in a space where you're feeling like maybe this is not meant for you. It's how that feels to me with this Emperor clarifying the hair font, okay? Um, there's just a really dry kind of energy. I feel like you guys could be drained with certain obstacles that you're facing when it comes to committing to this, okay? Um, but with that temperance card showing up here, I feel like you you are being guided, all right? It might not feel that way, but I do feel like you guys um, are being guided, all right? These, these challenges and obstacles, I think you're going to overcome them, all right? But I feel like you need to stay calm, okay, in the face of these obstacles with that Queen of Cups showing up, all right? I feel like there's a need to just kind of um, sit in silence for some of you guys when it comes to this. Not forever, but um, I feel like there's a lot of frustration surrounding um, some kind of uh, goal that you're trying to achieve, something you're trying to accomplish here, okay? Um, now, I think that for others of you, there could be a harsh energy coming back in from the past here. With this, Like I said, with the Page of Wands, King of Wands, I feel like there's like a softening uh, in the middle here with this Page of Cups, um, where maybe there's been... Um, more uh, compassionate communication here between you and an individual and maybe you guys are moving back into a space of um you're forgetting what, what you promised here, okay? You're moving back into a space of like this nasty, argumentative kind of energy here is something that I'm feeling, all right? So that's something you want to move out of, all right? Uh, if that's the case. So let's go ahead and look at the five of wands in the future to the two of wands to the seven, okay? <laughs> And then literally the five and the two make the seven, all right? Um, but the five of wands is an energy of competition. It's an energy of strife, okay? Tell me about the five of wands. Ten of wands, goodness gracious, okay? Sag energy. Tell me about the two of wands. Tell me about the two of wands. Eight of cups, Pisces. Tell me about the seven of wands. Seven of wands. <laughs> Leo energy, okay? I want to look at this eight of cups one more time, please. Tell me about this eight of cups. Tell me about this eight of cups. Strength. Leo energy, okay? Uh, so that's showing up to clarify that eight of cups. So clarifying the five of wands is the ten of wands. So I almost feel like in resisting this ace of pentacles because it's meant for you. Okay, you can't deny what's meant for you. Um, I feel like it uh, puts it. How do I put it here? It kind of doubles that burden in a way when you're trying to resist what it is that's meant for you. Okay, because I feel like this path. Um, you know, it, it's it's yours, okay? And I feel like some of you guys are moving away from it because it's unfamiliar to the to the path that you've walked this far, all right? Um, but going back to the path that you've walked this far, there's more burden there. 13, 13 on the camera. There's more, um, there's more there that does not uh, align with who you are now, all right? So there's a lot more to carry. There's a, it's, it's a lot harder to walk that path than it once was. So that's what's important. Uh, to remember here when you're uh, making this choice, okay? Because I feel like some of you guys may have, um, you know, you may be feeling tempted to uh, turn around. You know, you have the Seven of Cups here, temptation in the face of these obstacles. You want to turn around, okay? You're afraid of being hurt in a situation here. I think that you guys um, are kind of attached to this energy here, all right? When I feel like this energy is available to you, there's just a lot of fear, okay? Um, when it comes to walking away from that and going into the unknown here with death showing up, all right? You guys fear that transition phase um, where you're not yet in the new part yet, all right? So uh, the, the old you is gone, but you're fearing... Um, you're fearing stepping onto the new path, all right? It's not necessarily the new path itself. It's the challenges that come with uh, getting there. Um, the challenges that come with, um, like settling in is how this feels to me. But the Seven of Cups temptation, yeah, that's what I'm feeling here to, to walk away when these obstacles show up, all right? But it's important to know that, you know, the path that you've been on is never going to be the way that it once was, okay? Because it's not, it's not what's meant for you long term, okay? I feel like you have something here that's meant for you long term. It could be a person, okay? Uh, with the Two of Cups here. But again, it's something that's a vibrational match for you. 1444 on the camera. So me, guys, this is your calling, okay? But it's, you know, it's up to you, all right? Do you want to make this harder on yourself? Because it's going to be what it's meant to be in the end. 
Um, you got the Two of Wands here clarifying it. It's the Eight of Cups and the, and the Strength card, all right? Um, so I feel like there's a need to be patient with yourself here when it comes to adjusting, all right, to the new path. Whatever this new path is, this new job, this new connection, this new way of thinking, new way of living, all right? New home for a lot of you. Um, but yeah, I feel like for a lot of you, you're finding what's missing here with that Eight of Cups showing up, all right? Um, I think for some of you, there's been, you've been feeling a void in some, um, some kind of toxic way with that devil card that was showing up uh, for quite some time. And I think that that, um, that in walking away from that, there's some kind of, um, there's some kind of trigger showing up because you have an attachment to it. Um, but I feel like with that two of wands, and clutching this this uh, globe and clutching this wand that's ahead of him here, um, and seeing the bigger picture and seeing that this is what you're meant to do and kind of going uh, within here with this Queen of Cups that's showing up currently, um, you know that is really going with the flow of things, following where you are led internally, not being in this head over heart stubborn energy of I want to stay where I am is what I've always known. Okay, uh, it's this Queen of Cups energy of intuitively this is where I feel I should go. I feel I should clutch this wand ahead of me and not look back. Um, that's what's meant for me. I'm going to choose this path, okay? So that's what I feel is happening here, you guys. Uh, you got the Seven of Wands to the Seven of Wands. This is an energy of defeating something. So you will defeat these obstacles and level up here, all right? Um, so that's what I feel, you know, needs to happen. You guys, of course, have free will, but I feel like there's a new path available to you. just feels a little unfamiliar. You're uncertain of the outcome. So uh, that's why a lot of you are afraid to move on it. All right, um, but I feel like this is what's meant for you. Okay, so I think somebody needed this uh, confirmation here. Um, so wow, Sagittarius, uh, I hope this was helpful. I want to thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me, and you all have a great rest of your month. Bye.